Hey everyone, it's me again. I am with my husband and my sister in the living room. My sister's playing Monopoly. My husband, oh, and my sister's going to jail. You can bear witness to that behind you. But, um, I wanted to talk to you guys. I, I told you guys I would make a whole other video about this. Because you saw this product in my birthday video. Everyone's been talking about it all over YouTube. It's the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm here to talk about it and how wonderful it is. Everybody else was saying how awesome this palette is. And I was like, hmm, let me see what this whole business is about. The only real con from a logistical standpoint is the price. It is $42, which is a lot for, you know, however many eyeshadows you get. I think it's like 18. Um, but it's expensive. I mean, $42 is a lot of money. But my beautiful and amazing sister bought it for me for my birthday. And now I will get to review it for you guys. It does come with a eyeshadow primer that is in my makeup case right now. I didn't feel like digging it out. The primer's okay. It's a little bit thinner than I'm used to. I'm used to using um, Urban Decay's primer potion, because they have the professional size, but um, it's not bad. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever used on my eyeballs. It's not the best. It's, eh, eh, whatever. But the reason that you buy this palette is definitely not the primer. It is definitely the shadows themselves. So, the case is very, very matte, very smooth. This is going to resist getting dirt on it, which is a really, really good plus in my opinion because sometimes my makeup tends to get jumbled up together and it can get stained very easily in the other packaging like what you would see on Naked or Naked 2. Um, this one, on the other hand, is very, very easy to clean with just a wet cloth and it's nice and shiny and very professional looking. It's not too gaudy. It's very thin, which I like, and it's held together by magnets, which is kind of cool. And then you have this little clear plastic thing, which I kept. I mean, a lot of YouTubers just kind of throw that away, but I keep it because it helps keep the shadows in place and keeps them from running around. And there's the shadows! Look at how pretty they are! This is what the Naked and Naked 2 palettes wish they were. I mean, you've got your matte shadows up here, and you've no, got your shimmer yes, shadows. She's not gonna give them her fucking I'm not railroads. Give you my fucking railroad. I don't care. I'm <laughs> money and stuff to give me. She keeps proposing the same fucking train. I'm not gonna give it to you. Bitches <laughs> ain't shit, yo. She anyway. Said, oh, I'll give you this green property for your railroad, and I'm like, no, bitch. And then she's like, but wait, wait, I'll give you this green property for your railroad. <laughs> God damn you, no, wow. bitch. Anyway. You've got your matte shadows up on the top row, and your shimmer shadows down on the bottom row. I don't know why anybody else hasn't thought of that sooner. It's such a better way to organize eyeshadow. When I'm doing my makeup, and i got to be out and about, you know, relatively quickly, I don't want to have to spend ten minutes trying to figure out, does this shadow have shimmer in it? Does that shadow have shimmer in it? No, I don't got to worry about that with this, because it's very, very well organized. Um, the white has a little, you can't really see it here, but it has a little bit of glitter in it. You can't see it on skin though, really, at least I can't. So, I have swatched all of these. You guys can look at further YouTube videos for swatches of these. I frankly don't feel like swatching them right now because my hand is dirty from a bunch of other swatches I did at Sephora today. But this palette, I've done three different looks for it. This is one of them. Um, this is kind of a fall-inspired makeup look. You can see my it kind of started, I mean, it's, it's a little bit not blended in the lid, but it kind of started as a black and red, like I was just going to use the matte black shadow up in the top corner and the shadow called Scarlet down at the bottom. But then I made the happy mistake of using this light bronze color right here. It's called light bronze. And I used it as a highlight, and oh my goodness, it is the perfect highlight, just the right amount of shimmer, it's not too metallic and obnoxious, and I realized that it was a really pretty fall color. So I used a brown eyeliner, replaced, kind of muddled the black a little bit with some dark brown, and blended the red up into the top area here, and it turned out absolutely amazing. This is great for smoky looks, it's great for natural looks. Pretty much anything you want to do, you can do with these basic colors. I mean, this palette was 
specifically curated and designed by a professional celebrity makeup artist. So you've got all of these beautiful shadows. They blend amazingly well. They're very, they've got an incredible color payoff. I mean, a little bit goes a long way with these guys. And I have yet to find any look that I've tried that looks bad. Like, last night I went out on an impromptu karaoke trip with a friend of mine, John, and I ended up, you know, I, I kind of was so tired and feeling kind of down, and I wasn't really even in the mood for doing makeup, but I just threw a couple of shadows on. I threw on scarlet and black out of this palette, didn't even use a primer, didn't do anything. Just that, liquid liner and mascara, and it came out looking amazing. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm not thinking about it at all, or if I really take my time and take like two hours to get myself ready, it still looks awesome. I have yet to actually make myself look bad with this palette. Um, I highly recommend this to anybody and everybody who I've come across. You have to, have to invest the money in this. It's totally worth it. Um, even if the shadows are kind of small, that would be my other criticism, is that there's not really enough product in each of these little pots to really justify charging $42 for this. But highly recommend it. It's absolutely amazing. This probably isn't even close to the best review on YouTube of this product, but get it, this thing, right here. You can find it at Ulta. I don't believe Sephora carries these. But I found mine at Ulta, and you could probably find it online, too. Um, so that's about that. I mean, it's pretty much the world's perfect palette. <laughs> like, I'm going to go ahead and say that right here, right now. So, now it's your turn, YouTube. Have you tried the Lorac Pro palette? Do you love it as much as I do? I really don't think so. Like, for real. I'm tempted, before I leave for Japan, to buy three of these and just no, I'm not stock up. I'm telling you guys, Monopoly, dude. She's playing Monopoly. Monopoly ruins friendships. Like, <laughs> it ruins lives. Like, These people want to give me their fucking green properties for my shit, and I'm like, no, bitch. There will be blood over here. So I'm going to head out before my sister starts getting homicidal over her Monopoly game. In the meantime, let me know what you guys think of the Lorac Pro palette. Have you tried it? Do you love it as much as I do? What are your favorite colors in it? What are your favorite looks to use? Go ahead and leave a comment in the boxes below. I promise I will read all of them. And in the meantime, let me know. Give a thumbs up to this video if you want to see a tutorial for this look. I'll try to remember how I did it and film a tutorial for you guys because I haven't done a tutorial in a really long time. So, yeah, that's about it. Stay tuned because i got a lot of awesome stuff coming up on my channel. Got lots of reviews, got lots of products that I've ordered that I wanted to try, more shoe unboxings. So excited. Can't wait for those shoes to come in. In the meantime, I'm going to go try and keep my sister from becoming a homicidal maniac. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!